Seeing challenges as opportunities is not always easy. Most times when we're faced with a challenge, it's not the challenge itself that kind of takes over and blinds us. It's the emotions that come with that and our mindset at looking at this challenge. Many businesses were launched and people have made it in life due to the problems that they faced. And instead of looking at it as a problem, they looked at it as an opportunity. Prime example being the lady who owns the brand Spanx. She used to sell facts before and she was obviously very bored of that, a challenge. And what did she do about it? Had she not been that bored in her job, she would have never launched Spanx that helped millions of women. So when we're faced with a challenge, we can either be a victim and look at it and be broken by it and be defined by it, or we can look at it as an opportunity and grab it with both hands. If you have me to my page, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at mental and emotional well-being, personal development, and day-to-day -day issues. Please do subscribe to my page. See, if you think about it, an opportunity and a risk is kind of the same thing. It's going into the unknown without knowing the outcome. A risk is a bad outcome, so we consider the bad in the situation. And an opportunity, we consider a good op option. But in both cases, we don't actually know what outcome we're going to get. So what's that to say? How to define it? Why some things looked at as a risk and some things looked at as an opportunity? And to be honest, there isn't. With opportunity, it's just our mindset and how we look at a situation. Some people look at a rejection as an obstacle, a challenge, a problem. Other people look at it, okay, so I've been rejected, but what did I get rejected based on? What can I do to change it? I heard this saying through my research and it was like, a no doesn't mean a no, it just means not right now. So that doesn't mean that just because you've been turned away from something, that that's not right for you. It just means that the timing of it may have not been right for you. But it doesn't mean that you should give up on that. Because if that was the case, then many of our problems in the world would be unsolved. We wouldn't have a lot of inventions, a lot of technology, because... If we allowed every mistake and every obstacle and every challenge and every risk break us and define us, then how would we ever create things to solve those issues and solutions? So that's where successful people differ from unsuccessful people. Because you can look at things and see it as, oh my God, my business is falling apart and this is what's happening and I'm going to never make it through this. Or you could look at it, okay, so these are the things that were wrong with my business. Now I know how to fix them. I've learned, I'm a lot more aware, I'm a lot more skilled, I'm a lot more knowledgeable. And I know the outcome if it goes wrong. So I know that it won't kill me and it won't break me. So I'm gonna go and do this again until I get it right. That's the only difference between a risk and, or a challenge and an opportunity. The more we start looking at things proactively and in ways we can improve, the more we will be able to live a very fulfilled and a very successful life because the lack of knowledge in certain situations, lack of entrepreneurship or skill sometimes could really help us because then we also are kind of ignorant or unaware of all the risks and things that could stop us. So we won't procrastinate as much and as long on a situation. We just go for it because not taking a risk is far worse than taking a risk, failing and learning from it. The sooner we start changing this mindset and looking at all our problems and obstacles in a more proactive, empowering way and just choosing the word opportunity over a risk and understanding that it's essentially the same thing. So I could either win or lose, but taking this risk, taking this opportunity is still me doing something and moving forward and growing than just sitting stagnant and letting fear take over.
You always want to live a life of what ifs, not if onlys. And you always want to look at things glass half full. Because when you let your mindset be in a glass half empty state, you will never ever grow up or get out of your comfort zone. And opportunities will just fly by you and you will look at, at other people flourishing and you will stay stagnant. And understand that it's all in your mind. So the quicker you change it, the more successful and fulfilling your life will be. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my page, like and comment on this video and share it with someone who might find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys here again next week. Mwah.